Hello everyone, I'm Space Wizard Total War. Welcome to a kind of partial episode we are doing because uh, we've been experiencing some pretty crazy crashing. Just consistently, every time I try to uh, play either this or Noctilus, it has completely stopped recording in its track. So what I've been doing some uh, troubleshooting on that and it turns out when you are impatient and try to force the game to load saves that have mods when the mods are not yet updated, uh, it, it doesn't like that. So we're... Uh, We've gone back in time and we are replaying battles that were we, we, we lost about a turn so there was a battle with Remute, uh, our warlock master that we had lost that has since changed because of our new alternate reality that we've dropped into so since the battles were so different between this one and the one with kevin um i've gone ahead and recorded or at least battled them and then we are going to do a voiceover of the recording so the war. So our beginning strategy was very similar to the other. We were just going to move up and harass the muscly Norskins with our magic before getting into combat. Marauder saw my lightning coming on in and did a pretty decent job of dodging it. Not this fellow though, he got it blasted. I was trying to locate the champions and uh, hit them with the brass orb. Well, as a cleansing ruin that wasn't as uh, impactful as it could have been. These champions are going to have their skin and muscle torn from their bone by alchemical magics. Fully armor piercing spell, so it does an absolute ton of damage. More lightning that they were really good at dodging. They kind of move around like a swarm of fish or a school of fish. Since the AI can control every single unit simultaneously differently. Um, and so when that happens, it's just like a amorphous blob of dudes running on around. While our rat runs on home, the forces that we had to defend were centered around this rock here. Basically, I've got the warp grinders set to lock troops in place and then blast them with warp fire and the slings. And then I had some Skaven Slaves back here to reinforce with a unit of Rat Ogres on both sides and then the Health and Abomination ready to smash up any Javelins that were moving on in. I should be coming up close on getting into Lightning Range. I had them focusing down the Skin Wolves. Who unfortunately did a really good job of moving into those trees and flanking, so... They're not going to take a ton of damage coming on in. Our Lord is running from his life for all of the javelins that are being thrown at him. It's like an episode of Indiana Jones. The very first movie when he's running through the, uh, the jungle and all the blow darts. As soon as they get into range of the warp fire, everyone's going to have a very, very bad day. the first units are starting to get into range. I was having them being pulled on back and I was preparing to use another cleansing ruin just to weaken the armor as they come on in. It's not a permanent armoring armor weekend, but it does a good bit of damage and it'll slow them down. Skin wolves are moving over and my red ogres were rotating to stop that. I just wanted to make sure we get the uh, first jet of warp fire. Friendly fire? Nay, there is no friendly fire. Oh, now well, that's a pretty good advice. Scores of hardened warriors being doused with war flame. Warp grinders start kicking in, so no one should be able to move once they get too close. Our Lord was actually losing. I had him in a duel with there that he was losing that overall duel quite badly, so he's going to be retreating for now, but he will be coming on back to assist the soldiers in a moment. Rat Ogres are doing wonderfully against these dead wolves. Actually, he's starting to push back some ground. 
but their lord had made it into contact with our warp fire throwers. We could completely shut them down and allowed this group to come on in. Our lord came back, though, and so with the death of theirs, the Norskins start falter. A big fluffy boy doing all the damage. A little bit of lag there, but we'll just power on through it. More soldiers running away than engaging now. Every bit of damage they think they do is not actually nearly as impactful. There. Skin Wolf Hero taking a ton of damage. All of the cannon fire was focused directly on him. He's getting a face full of warp flame. No one enjoys any of that. Good old doggy bath. Warp fire shutting down his regeneration as well. What happens to every Norsk chieftain that dares stand in our way? That was the overall victory there. At this point, we were chasing down any remaining Norskins, even though we really didn't have to. It was more because of uh, pure revenge for defeating me last time. Rip the skin from them, bones. Each and every one of them shame the Dark Gods. We slaughtered them to a man and we burned down their village. Give us a little bit of a buffer between the next Norskin and Chaos armies that were coming on in. But this one was a victory. I will see you all in the next battle. <laughs> And welcome to Kevin the Rat Wizard's Ambush of the Tong. Yes, in this one, our attack order resulted in an ambush. We begin the battle with a hail of bullets from our teeth breakers. Well, I didn't mean to pause it. Get that thing back going. Beautiful sniper shots. I've got the Skaven Slaves and the Tailbreakers on the hills. All of my mutants in the woods there, ready to stream on out and do all of the damage to their ranged units. That was going to be their primary target. They take a little bit of damage on the way in, but they uh, they quickly find a Norskin on a horseback and uh, rip him asunder. They're being assisted by the wolf rats, who are hungry and raring to go. Back up here on the main side, our floor has engaged and all of the lads are coming on up the hill while our Steven Slave slings stream out of the woods. Sadly, this has got a whole bunch of misuse of my artillery. It stayed focused on him the whole time and I didn't notice. And so, uh, it wasn't blasting this gigantic clump of dudes. Several... Clan rat spears, Haven slave spears, sorry, holding back dozens of berserkers. But alas, what do they see but a plague? The horned rat's blessings. Men being pulled by the, uh, just by the effects of the plague. Swords ripping through their unarmored ranks. Back over on the range side is an absolute pandemonium. Rat ogres are ripping men in half and just tossing them around. All of their range units getting jibbed. Some of the wolf rats fell in pursuit of the hunters here, but they actually did end up catching them. Routing several of them off and a couple units of flat rats coming up out of the ground that looks like they haven't been given an attack order yet. Oh, there they go. That gets rid of their range. And then back here on the uh, main front, the artillery has finally engaged their actual troops. We'll just watch the slaughter. Our assassins, flaming heads. 
He's badly wounded, but did an amazing job. The Norskins lie either dead or bleeding. Soon to be put out of their misery by the rats. Evan the Unstoppable. It is far too late. The Norskins run, only to be hunted down in the woods by wolf rats and giant abominations, splintering trees as they chase them down. This was not meant to be. Absolutely no escape. But yeah, this is our foray into the uh, alternate reality. This is what we're uh, things are going to be going forward. Uh, just because of uh, the crashes that were going on, it wouldn't absolutely not let me progress. So we had to go back in time, fight these two battles. We also had to fight the battle against Malice Darkblade. And the only difference on that one is that we lost a few less. And the uh, rude horror we had survived. But the battle itself was so similar that I decided we were only going to keep these two in since they were very, very different. But hope you all enjoyed this little half video and I will see you all in the next one.